But let me talk to you a little bit about Warrington because you're synonymous with the place that you absolutely loved and adored, much more popular than any of the Brisbane players. Everybody wants your autograph. And you've got a lot in common with England because you were born on the day that England won the World Cup. That's correct, 1966, so we don't want to remember that uh, for the age, but uh, as I said, uh, it's great being back here, certainly playing, or for the boys to play in at Warrington, but for me to get back and see all the boys I play with and uh, catch up and have a few ales. What do you remember about Warrington when you, when you came over in 2000? What do you remember about the club back then? Uh, we didn't have great training facilities like they do now, but uh, but the fans, the uh, enjoyment they get out of you know, your team winning, but uh, certainly the mates I, I made when I was playing here, I, I played at the Brisbane Broncos, never ever thought I'd play with another club, but uh, to come over to Warrington, they welcomed me with open arms and the, the club really looked out for me when I got here. Mate, you've, you've won premierships, but what, what what's bigger? Is it the, the Queensland, New South Wales, state of origin, playing for Australia or winning the Premiership, which one would meant more to you as a player? Well, as a player, you should always want to play for your country, yeah. so definitely representing uh, your country, and certainly the origins were, were a pinnacle, and, and what you do as a team, you, you, you train hard all off-season, and that's winning grand finals, and uh, they're all great, they're all up there, but certainly playing for us, Australia is uh, the top one. Mate, lastly, I wanted to ask you, um, we've got a player over here who's was an absolute fantastic bloke, a real friend of the show, a guy called Rob Burroughs. Uh, he's recently made his 500th professional appearance and is a very similar height to yourself. And someone said that, that when they were younger, they, they doubted whether he could make it. And Malcolm really was the person actually said, no, you know what, this kid is going to be all right. When you were growing up, did you face a similar kind of um, like, problems with obviously with people considering you, you, your height and, and maybe making it at the top level and how did it affect you as a young bloke and, and into your career? Well it didn't affect me but I think where it all started was playing backyard footy against yeah. your brothers at home but uh, <laughs> but yeah you caught copped a lot of criticism on your way up but uh, that's where you want to go out and prove your career strong and go out and do your do the, let your football do the talking and I, as you say about Rob Burrow you know I congratulate him for uh, you know a marvellous career and to five, that is amazing and as it's with his size and he was just starting out when I was playing in, yeah. in 2000 over here so to play for this long and uh, as as his stature that just shows how much courage he's got and uh, how much talent he's got and certainly amazing feat. Mate, you mentioned Australia and uh, as a pinnacle and um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the international game because I'm of the firm belief that until we get an international calendar similar to Rugby Union, it's going to be very difficult. As, as strong as the NRL is, as, as good as Super League is in some respects, we, we need an international calendar. Um, is that something you share? Have you, you you share yourself? Is that something you'd like to improve to see more international games? Yeah, and I think what did help, you know, years ago gone by is when Australia used to come over here for the kangaroo tours and, and I was proper tours. Yes, and, and I was tours and yes, stuff. and that that doesn't happen anymore. So I think it'd be great to get back to that. I, I know the players loved it and we enjoyed the the three months over here. So we had a fantastic time, and I know the clubs loved playing against Australia. You know, back in them days. So if we could get that back together, but as I said, the, the the competition and the World Cup's on this year, so hopefully that can boost it up a little bit more as well. Mate, you've, you've met so many famous people it, being a top footy star, and I just wondered, has Alfie Langer ever been starstruck? Have you ever met anybody and gone, oh, my God? Oh, a little bit by Tina Turner, actually. Tina Turner? Tell, tell you the truth, when she came out and she she uh, sang uh, the song uh, Grand Final Day and being beside her and, and being in the ad with her because we did a Super League ad with her as well. So uh, it was just something different and uh, see her in person was uh, very good. Mate, outstanding. Absolute legend. Top. Thank you for being on Rugby, mate. Thank Appreciate you. it, Thank mate. You, mate. Have Top a great man. day. Whether it's power station, factory or stadium, covering installation or maintenance, spec the specialist power contractor to industry.